Hi, my name is Phil and welcome to Bucket of Cars. What is Bucket of Cars? It's my YouTube version of a bucket list of vehicles. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but most car enthusiasts, they grew up carrying around their bucket or box of Hot Wheel cars and when they you know, grow up to, to be an adult, they, they have one or two of those cars that they ended up buying the real deal, the real car of, and it was their bucket list to eventually own that car for real. Well, for me, I don't have just one car or two cars that I want to have. I've got a bucket list of them. And some of them I've been able to fulfill and check off the box, and some of them I haven't. Uh, you know, a lot of these cars, uh, I acquire them, and you wouldn't even believe the stories that I have on, on some of them uh, and how I got them. But uh, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to create a new YouTube channel, uh, have some of you guys follow me working on some of these cars, uh, see them, see them get some progress, and uh, and how I got them. And uh, and hey, this is bucket of cars. Let's take a look at some of my heaps here in my shop. Okay, so uh, excuse the mess, but uh, sometimes I'm not the most uh, organized guy. But uh, anyways, this is one of my cars here that I've got here. Um, we call it Freebird. Uh, the story behind it, and you guys aren't going to believe it, but uh, it came in through my business, and it came in from for free. And you're going to hear, uh, hear me say it a lot, that uh, such and such car came in through my business. And uh, a lot of them do. I'm not going to promote my business on this uh, page, but... It's, it's how I get a lot of them. Uh, this Corvette just came in, uh, and uh, I actually don't know much about it. That's gonna be uh, probably my first channel, um, or f first video, sorry. This, uh, this car behind me, uh, kind of a cool story about this one is that that's my second car that I ever owned. I've owned hundreds of cars, and I don't have my first. Um, my first was a 67 Galaxy. This is the second one that I ever owned. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get inside it, uh, but inside the door here, if I can open it, is my grad tackle. Get you to take a look at that. Whoops, hold on. Bad camera work, I know. That is my grad tassel, and, and you can kind of gauge how old I am with that, but. This car used to be my daily driver back in the day. As you can see, she's uh, been sitting for a long time. But uh, hopefully with this channel, you guys will uh, keep, me, keep me straight with actually working on some of these cars. Yeah, there's my little teddy bear right there. Um, got another Corvette right here. She's hiding under the tarp. Um, bit of a story on that one too. We'll save that for a channel. Uh, or sorry, not a channel. I keep saying that, but a, a different, uh, different episode. Um, this car is really cool. This is my wife's uh, '65 Barracuda. Uh, again, you're going to notice a lot of dust on these cars. Uh, they've just, they have been sitting for a little bit, but it doesn't take long for dust to accumulate on these vehicles. Underneath this, uh, this car here, or this tarp here, is a uh, numbers matching 340 four-speed duster. Um, it's been sitting since 1980. Uh, so yeah, that's a cool car here. Uh, there's my C10. Um, I've got other vehicles in another shop, uh, including another big block 440 Duster. I've got a um, 1928 uh, Rio Flying Cloud, really cool car. Uh, that one I just got recently as well. Um, and uh, there's also a 39 Chevy uh, two-door coupe. Um, all original. So I mean, I like all types of vehicles, all types of, uh, you know, different conditions or, or different styles like hot rodded out or original or um, classic vintage muscle car. Uh, they're all art to me, just like for you guys that's watching the show is that they're all they're all kind of kind of art. Well, maybe maybe except that one right there. It's not, there's not much art there. It's cool, but not it's not much art there. Um, but anyways, um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what projects I end up finishing up here, what projects I end up working on, what projects I end up finding and buying and what, what ones I, uh, check off my, my bucket list of cars. So anyways, take care guys.